Hello guys, this is Hams. Welcome back to Katia B5 Training. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to create a drawing very fast. So I opened the landing gear model that I created before. My computer is a little slow, so maybe you cannot see very very good. But I will try to do it slow, so you don't miss anything. Okay, um, first thing to create a drawing, we need to go to File, New, you can press D as a drawing, press OK, and you can choose the size of the, of the sheet you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use A0. You can see paper size here, and if you want a landscape or portrait. And just press OK. And you got your your sheet for the drawing. Uh, but in, in this case, I already have another sheet open it with a title block and a reference block. As you can see here, title block most of the time is used to have the history of the changes for the drawing and who modify and on the reference block you can have some information about the drawing number uh, if you have a title for the drawing how many cheats are the date is created who designer who shake it and that kind of stuff okay um, to bring the model to the drawing you need to go to here to this toolbar views and this is a front view but I'm going to start with the isometric view so you choose isometric view just click the icon change to the 3D model as you can see here and I want to bring all this model to the drawing so let's click from the first item to the last one use shift key make sure everything is selected as you can see here this one now so let me use control and select and now it's selected and just click on any part of the 3D model I mean if, if you want to have the isometric view like this use you reference your screen like this or if you want on that side like this as you can see on the screen is like the isometric view is going to appear on the drawing so I'm going to put something like this and just click on any part of the 3D model and now our isometric view is here when you see the, the green the green that screen that square I mean it, it means that you can modify the orientation of the isometric view you can use these controls to to move it as you can see here you can move the angle and when you're done with that use uh, let me put it in the previous well uh, it doesn't matter uh, just click outside the green the green square and now you have your isometric view and when you have the, the red that square just grab it and you can move it to any part that you want of the drawing all right and for example now I'm gonna bring one part of the drawing to take the measures so now we're going to the same toolbar views but now we're going to select from view just click on from view it's the same process move to your 3d model 3d model and select the part that you want as you can see here, if if I, for example, I'm gonna select this one, 
you select the, um, the part first and then which face you want to be the front view on this case I'm gonna select this one as you can see a small oriented preview appear on the bottom right corner and just click on the face that you want to be the front view and now you have the, the front view on your drawing and it's the same process you can move the directions and after that just click outside and now you have the front view and just place it to whatever you want I'm gonna put it here and when you have this you can start using the measure stuff but before that I'd like to show you how to create more how to use this command unfolded view I oh, no, no is I think it's this one projection projection view yeah and as you can see here is if I put my my mouse on the right side of the front view we can have the side view of this part but if you put <coughs> on the top you can see the the top view and the same for the bottom view for the left left view so for example I want the right view just click just put on the, your mouse on the right side and make a click and it's gonna tell you a right view and you can repeat the process if you want the, the top view and you can move the top view just up and down not to the sides because it's just a top view from this front view and the same for the right view, you cannot move it up and down just for the size alright and after that you can start measuring for that you have this toolbar I think it's called a dimension or something like that and to make a, you have the first command that have more comments most of the time that you use the dimension one for this one you only need to select one edge to another one edge for example I want the, the distance from here to here and now it's telling me it's 41.9 millimeters and you can have chain dimensions or cum cumulative dimensions depends what kind of drawing you're doing you can use you can choose for all these commands the better that help is better for you for your drawing and this one is to to measure the radius for example I want to know the ra the radius of this one and tell me it's a radius of two millimeters or you can have the diameter for example here just tell me is 5 alright um, what else I can show you uh, let me think oh yes um, this balloon here you can put text text with leader uh, but if you use the balloon tool I mean the command you select the balloon command then you select the part and you can see the name of the part is called low super in the same name that you have it on your 3D model so it's a little helpful and what else I can show you well, text with leader or use text. As you can see here. Uh, and when you ah yes, another thing that, for example, I want to take a measure here. Before do this, I mean, if I measure, just like that. For example, I want to measure from here. here is number six but if I move this 
well no it's not like that but anyway sometimes when you have you need to click I mean to double click on one of the views to have all the text or measures inside this view because in some cases you need to move it and the measures didn't move because are assigned to another view so play with these tools here it's very simple to use it and when we got some drawings I will show you how to use this area field creation is a, a good command to paint some parts well I will show you very fast but sometimes it takes a lot of time for example I want to paint this size you click it and now you can see some lines appear when the lines appear you can select the line right click properties and you can put dotting coloring for example in this case we're going to colors so I'm gonna put orange and now you have your the size of the face coloring uh, this command sometimes crash here you have some open areas and there's another command to erase lines and create lines but let me remember where is it well now anyway I will try to show you on another video um, another thing is to add some lines here or to modify the the title block and the rubrician block you need to go to edit and cheat background when you click it now you're working on the title block and reference block for example I want to add some text here just do it like that and you can move it whatever you want but you cannot modify the the views as you can see here I cannot select it or modify so that was the use of the the working view and the cheat background when I'm here I cannot modify the title look as you can see here I cannot delete anything just you need to go to the cheat background for example I'm gonna delete this and that's it I delete it alright remember you need to go to edit go to working view or cheat background and I hope you understand everything and you have some do this just let me know and let me remember one more thing that I want to show you well you can use the grid too for more better reference and oh well I think is that all for now uh, I will be on vacations this weekend so I hope next week well next weekend I have the first video for another assembly um, I'm working on something like this so let me show you um, I think it's this one so I try to make it a little more real it's one of the parts for the a wing I create this this component and this part with cheap metal and surface 
and just to show you how to how to create connectors for this equipment how to create electrical points how to create the harness and how to how to use the use the supports to for the wire harness mm. I have to have it finished like in two three more weeks so I hope you enjoy it and keep training guys thank you for watching